You know, it's American Craft Brew Week, and we came over to the Beer and Wine Cave right here in Toledo to celebrate with Matt the Beer Guy. Now, there's plenty of great craft brews that are right in our backyard. Aren't there? Absolutely, Joe. What did I just pour right here? What are we looking at? That is the uh, North Peak Amber Siren Ale. So tell me 29 about 29 IBUs, Ooh. nice little amber, a little bit of hoppy maltiness, delicious beer, great with the meats from the Meats and More Market next door. It's got a great flavor to it. You awesome get a lot flavor. of hoppiness with it, but that's not just the only thing we're here. We also have this beauty right here. Tell me about this guy. That is the uh, Great Lakes Brewing Company out of uh, Cleveland, Ohio. That's their Lake Erie Monster. Monstrously hoppy beer. It's a uh, delicious hoppy love right there in a cup. That does look absolutely fantastic. And continuing our theme down the line, this is a really rare beer you were telling me earlier. This is. It's a limited release. It's a vintage 2009 Big Dick's Old Ale from Battle Creek, Michigan. Specifically, Joe, the uh, brewery is Arcadia, and they call their beers Arcadia Ales. Now, what makes this beer so rare? Well, it's, it's cellarable. It's age-worthy. Uh, a lot of people have been cellaring wine for years. You can do that with great beers. So, th so, and then finally, on our list of four that I had pull for, you had pulled for us today, this one I'm really excited about. Tell me a bit about this. Last but not least, everyone wants a little dessert. This is dessert in a bottle. This is Dragon Smelt from New Holland. And it's a ale aged in oak barrels, quite similar to the uh, oak barrel Joe that we're set up on. Absolutely. Now, the thing about craft beer is, I mean, there's been this explosion in American culture where people are deviating from the, the typical, you know, the big three domestic brews and getting into craft brews. We we're finding phenomenal success. No one's ever backed their truck up since we've been open for five years now. And so, how do you get closer? I found out where they sold Budweiser, but they do get really excited about these geeky craft brew beers each and every day. My opening sale yesterday was a gentleman that came down from Detroit. Mix and match the 12 pack of beer for $160. And he was really super excited. He got some geeky beers that he couldn't find up in Michigan. He got some beers he was going to put down in his cellar for the next two to five years. Now, if people love geeky beers, that's what you coined it right there. Yeah. And I'm actually a big advocate of geeky beers, you could, as you could say. I love trying new and interesting stuff, especially stuff that's made with, you know, the hard sweat and the American people that are going ahead and cooking in kitchens and making great craft brews like this. But if they want to come down and taste them, they can come to the beer and wine. That's table. great. Every Wednesday and Thursday night from uh, 6 o'clock to 8 o'clock, we do both a beer and a wine tasting. All right. Well, you know what? I'm not going to wait till 6 or 8. Care to join hey, me? Cheers. Cheers. Absolutely. That's good geeky beer.